Hello, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's topic, we are going to continue with our light reflection and refraction. In last video, we learned till our uses of convex and concave mirror. Okay, so I hope all of you understood all those things and now we are continuing with the rest of the portion. First one is Sign conventions in spherical mirrors. Sign convention in spherical mirrors. So how we can how we can measure? Okay, so whether it will be positive, which side will be positive, which side will be negative, all those things. First one is all the measurements we should consider from pole. Distances measure from pole of the spherical mirror. That is the first one. Okay. Now, in textbook, you can see it as a different four five lines are there. So all those things we can, if you, we can represent it in a diagram. Okay. See. If this is the position of mirror, okay, if I am taking any reading right side of the mirror, mirror you consider it as origin, okay, if I am taking any reading right side of the mirror, it will be positive, left side of the mirror, it will be negative. Upward directions means it will be positive. Downward direction means it will be negative. All the measurements we should take from the pole. Then next one from the mirror right side positive, left side negative. Upward direction positive, downward direction negative. This is the only sign convention which you should learn. Okay, so while we are explaining the rest of the things, you will understand the rest. Okay, so now this is clear for you, right? So this is the sign convention. Usually the children will say it is very difficult. It's very, very easy. See, this is the position of mirror. Mirror position, we will consider it as origin. From origin to the right side positive, left side negative, upward direction positive, downward direction negative. Okay, clear now? So, next we are going to study about the mirror formula. What is mirror formula? For understanding the mirror formula, you should see if I am keeping one mirror here. And this is the principal axis. This is the pole and this is F. This is C. PF and FC should be same. Okay, I am keeping one object somewhere here and I am getting, see after beyond C, the image will be forming between F and C. Okay, so I will get an image over here. Okay, so the measurement from the pole till object, that is represented as U. U is called as object distance from the pole till object it is u from the pole till image that is v v is the representation of image image distance object distance is u and image distance is v and f is the focal length f is the focal length Okay, so U is the object distance, V is the image distance and F is the focal length. Okay, so how we can write down the mirror formula? Mirror formula is 1 by F equals 1 by U plus 1 by V. This is the mirror formula. 1 by F equals 1 by U plus 1 by V. No derivation, nothing is required for you, only the mirror formula. Okay, then always we should keep the object left side of the mirror. 
see in the see if we are keeping uh, an object here left side see here if what will be the always you think that object will be at the left side object always we should keep at the left side object should be at the left side object position will be at the left side of the mirror okay distances we should measure from the pole okay this side positive this side negative right side positive upward direction positive downward direction negative u object distance v image distance then mirror formula is 1 by f equals 1 by u plus 1 by v next we are going to study about the magnification magnification in the name itself it is there what is magnification magnification means enlarging is it how much it will be enlarged that is called a magnification magnification means how much it will be magnified so the ratio of height of image to the height of object is called a magnification so the magnification is represented as m height of image divided by height of object that is magnification okay another formula for magnification is m equals minus v by u that is another formula for magnification m equals minus v by u what is this v image distance u is object distance so magnification m equals minus v by u okay m equals another formula is hi by ho and that is ratio of height of image to the height of object then magnification m is equal to minus v by u okay so that is ob image distance divided by object distance so here suppose if we are getting a real image real means it will be inverted image how we will be getting the magnification whether magnification will be positive or negative that that one we can find out okay if it image is real if we are getting a real image object is here inverted image so it will be height of image will be positive height of object will be positive since it is downward direction height of image will be negative so one positive divided by negative so height of images pos object is image is negative and object is positive so you will get a negative value for m if we are getting m as negative you should understand that image is real and inverted okay and then next is how the virtual image virtual means if it is upward the uh, it is actually not meeting it will be meeting at some point we will, we are extending and letting it to meet somewhere so that is it will be always in the same direction isn't it so in the case of virtual image image also will be positive height of object also will be positive so the value is positive if magnification is positive it will be a virtual image and if magnification is negative it will be a real image okay clear now how the magnification and how the images are related with the value of image magnification is related with the their nature okay so it is real means it will be negative virtual means it will be positive so clear now what is magnification and how we will be finding out the real and virtual images okay so using this now we are going to do some numericals okay first question find the focal length of a concave mirror whose radius of curvature is 32 cm so which mirror is this concave mirror concave mirror means like this and then this is the principal focal axis and p and this is f and same distance c over here okay radius of curvature is given as 32 cm what is radius of curvature from the pole to the center of curvature that is 32 cm we should find out the focal length 
isn't it so 32 from the mirror we should start the measurement from the pole isn't it pole of the mirror pole to the left words left left hand side we are a measuring isn't it so what will be the radius of curvature that is 32 centimeter but it will be negative because from the pole from the pole while we are measuring it is coming towards the left side if it is left side the measurement will be negative okay minus 32 centimeter so now how what is no, we should find out the focal length what is the relation connecting r and f r is equal to 2f so what is f minus 32 divided by 2 that is minus 16 centimeter okay clear for you easy right okay so here only thing you should consider about the yes this formula everyone will be remembering but the negative sign if it is a convex mirror how it will be suppose if this question same question came as convex mirror where will be the focal length see this is p and this is the f and this is c isn't it center will be coming at this side then r will be plus 32 only okay now it is if it is a convex mirror it will come like this r is plus 32 if it is a concave mirror r will be minus 32 clear now shall we move to the next question so the next question is a concave mirror produces three times magnified real image of an object placed at 10 centimeter in front of it where is the image located so we are keep a concave mirror produces three times magnified real image so magnification is given as three and it is real image real means ah yes image will be like this m is equal to h i by h o this is h image is negative downward direction o is positive so m is negative so magnification is minus 3 so if it is real means magnification is negative m will be negative okay m is equal to minus 3 of an object which is placed at 10 centimeter in front of it so if it is a which mirror concave mirror concave mirror and this is p and we are keeping uh, object we don't know at which place so we can't mark the other things 10 centimeter away from it so the object distance what is the representation u it, it is coming left side so it is minus 10 always object distance you can blindly take it as negative because as per sign convention it will be at the left side only so you can take it as negative then m is given how we can find out the image position m equals minus v by u one formula is there isn't it so how we can find out minus 3 equals minus v divided by minus 10 so what is minus v here minus 3 into minus 10 that is 30 so we are getting v as minus 30 centimeter so that also towards left side if object and image are at the same side then we are getting a real image so it is at the negative left side okay so now see here if m is equal to 3 minus 3, three times magnified yeah so while here it is get, giving it as magnified image isn't it so if suppose if the value is not given and if you are getting m is equal to 1 then image and object size of image height of image will be equal to height of object okay if m is equal to m is greater than 1 then height of image is greater than height of object that is it will be enlarged one okay m is greater than one m is greater than one means h i is greater than h o so it will be an enlarged image okay if m is less than one so as per formula h i will be less than h o height of object is large so it will be diminished image so this also you should keep it keep that in mind so if m is negative it is a real image and always keep any one in mind m is negative real enough so positive means it will be the other one 
okay so m is negative means it will be real image okay so m is equal to 1 equal m is greater than 1 it will be a so that and all no need to buy hard actually so m is equal to hi by ho if numerator is big it will be more than 1 isn't it so it will be an enlarged image m is greater than 1 hi is greater than ho if m is less than 1 hi is less than ho so it will be diminished image okay so you understood this numerical okay so the next one shall we move to the next one so the next question is an object 5 centimeter in length is placed at a distance of 20 centimeter in front of a convex mirror of radius of curvature 3 centimeter find the position nature and size of the image okay so an object of length 5 centimeter object length means height of object that is 5 centimeter is placed at a distance 20 centimeter in front of a convex mirror it is a convex mirror okay this is a convex mirror and object is kept at 20 centimeter left side always left side I told you can take it as negative and radius of curvature is given as 3 centimeter if it is radius of curvature will be coming to the right side isn't it because to the center pole to center this distance towards the right side so it is positive so 3 centimeter find the position of image how we can find out the position so we we should find out nature and size we should find out okay so if we are finding out m we can we can find out the nature and size of the image okay so r is given from there we can find out the focal length r is equal to 2f so 3 equals 2 into f f is equal to 1.5 centimeter so how we can find out v mirror formula 1 by f equals 1 by u plus 1 by v so 1 by 1.5 equals 1 by u is minus 20 plus 1 by v so what is 1 by v here 1 by 1.5 plus 1 by 20 minus 20 while coming to this side plus 1 by 120 so 10 by 15 plus 1 by 20 you can take the, the this as 300 so it is 215 you will be getting so 215 divided by 300 so the answer you will get it as v equals 300 divided by 215 or you will get it as uh, we will get it as 1.3 centimeter we will get it over here so we will get this as 1.3 cm v is at 1.3 centimeter so it is positive that one you should understand so which side we are getting the other side we are getting it the, uh, the other side 1.3 so now here we will we should find out the magnification m minus v by u minus v by u if we are finding out minus 1.3 divided by minus 20 so you will get a positive value that means it is a virtual image what is the size it will be less than 1 so it is a diminished image 1.3 divided by 20 means it will be a point something by less than 1 m is less than 1 it is if m is less than 1 it is diminished image so m is positive so we will get a virtual image so clear this is how we will be finding out the values and the position character and all the rest of the questions we will be discussed in another video now we are going to continue with our uh, theory portion okay so after this one after finishing all the four chapters we will be again doing the revising during revision we will do more numericals okay so i hope all of you understood and clear about this topic Okay, so if you like my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.